on electromechanical creature of wonderment. Okay, so there's a lot of moving parts in here and there's a lot of complicated things that make my brain hurt. Um, but I think it's also important to point out that Investigating Simon isn't nostalgic. Even though it's it's an example or an exquisite example of an obsolete machine, there's still lots of things going on inside of this thing that very much apply to electronics and technology today. So it's totally worth investigating. Now, take a look at this. This is what we call an integrated circuit. And inside this little black box here are a bunch of little electronic components. They're all packed inside. And this is what drum machines and other electronic devices are made of today. Um, now, when Sideman was built, we didn't have this technology yet. So the inventors had to rely on the much larger discrete components that they had um, to build up Sideman. And this is one of the reasons why it's so gigantic. At the same time, this is what makes Sideman cool because instead of trying to figure out what's going on inside this little tiny box, we can really see what's going on. I can see that there's resistors connected to capacitors. I can follow the cables and look at all the traces and see how it works. So that makes it much better for being able to understand what's going on. What I think is a little bit sad is that right now there's not so much accessible technical documentation about this machine uh, that's easy to find. So, I thought I would step up to the challenge and show you what's going on inside this big old machine. And now, for a general overview of what's going on with the Sideman. Here, we have our tempo wheel. We have our tempo control. Here, we got the control panel. Over here, this big mess of parts, that's what we call the tone generators. Here, we got a tweeter, a bass speaker, and then over here, that's another speaker called the monitor speaker, and that's what the musician would be listening to if the rest of Simon was facing out towards the audience. And then all throughout Simon, we have this beautiful network of colorful wires. This is the back side of Sideman. Up here, we have some very important mechanical things going on. Over here, we can see a, a, our tone generators, and it's quite lovely because we have these really classy vacuum tubes on this side. There's even a section called the shimmer generator, which I'm going to get into a bit later. We can see the guts of our main um, pattern selector, and we have power amplification here, and that's the back side of our big old bass speaker. 